Hey there, finance fans. Welcome to Frezzy Path. Today we've got a fascinating story about BlackRock and their skyrocketing ETF business. If you're into investments, this is one you don't want to miss. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts. So, let's rewind to 2009. The economy was in shambles, but Larry Fink, BlackRock CEO, made a bold move by acquiring the iShares ETF business from Barclays for a whopping $13 billion. At the time, ETFs were just a tiny speck in the financial world, managing around $700 million in assets. People thought Fink was crazy, but boy, did he prove them wrong. Fast forward to today, and BlackRock's ETF business has become one of the greatest financial deals of all time. L. Let's break it down, in 2023, BlackRock's total revenue hit $17.8 billion. And guess what? The iShares Equity ETFs alone raked in $4.41 billion, with fixed income ETFs pulling in another $1.23 billion. That's nearly a third of BlackRock's total revenue, and it's still growing. Now, let's talk numbers. Assets under management for BlackRock's ETF business have soared to an astonishing $3.85 trillion, doubling from $1.79 trillion just five years ago. And even when you exclude ETFs outside the US, BlackRock is still the top dog in the game. Check this out, let's see how BlackRock stacks up against the competition. BlackRock leads the pack with a staggering $2.9 trillion in assets, Vanguard follows closely with $2.7 trillion. State Street comes in third with $1.3 trillion. Invesco holds $570 billion. Schwab rounds out the top five with $360 billion. Together, these giants control a whopping 85% of all ETF assets. The rich really are getting richer. And the growth potential? It's massive. In the second quarter alone, BlackRock saw inflows of $83 billion, making up a third of all inflows into the entire ETF market this year. That's $150 billion year-to-date. Insane, right? But here's the kicker, the ETF business is super competitive, with fee pressures everywhere. So, what's next for BlackRock? They're not resting on their laurels. They're venturing into new territories, First up, the LifePath Paycheck Program. This is BlackRock's foray into the annuities market, which has traditionally been a tough nut to crack due to low payouts and high commissions. Using their target date fund framework, they're offering a way for participants to allocate a portion of their assets to a lifetime income asset class starting at age 55. At 59 and a half, participants can start redeeming their investments and purchase annuities from insurers picked by BlackRock. It's a bold move, and if it pays off, it could be huge. Next, let's talk private equity. BlackRock recently acquired PreCheen, a top provider of alternative equity data, for about $3.2 billion. They're looking to tap into the lucrative private equity market. The dream? An ETF for private equity investments. While managing the underlying assets daily in an ETF wrapper is tricky, there's potential for synthetic solutions. It's a challenge, but if anyone can pull it off, it's BlackRock. So, there you have it. BlackRock's ETF business isn't just growing, it's thriving. And with new ventures on the horizon, they're set to keep dominating the financial world. What do you think about BlackRock's moves? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Stay smart, stay invested.